Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with men's swimming captain Brandon Wilder, but first a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and Lee Sports. As always, you can find all of the latest WNL Athletics news in detail at generalsports.com. The women's basketball team scored the final 12 points of the game in a 67-61 ODAC win over Easter Mennonite at the Warner Center on Saturday. Elsewhere, wrestling dropped three Centennial Conference matches at the McDaniel Quad, while the men's and women's swimming team scored comfortable wins over Catholic and Marymount at Cy Twombly Pool. With me now is Brandon Wilder, senior swimming captain from Suffolk, Virginia. Brandon, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be here. The Generals wrapped up their home schedule with dual meet wins against Gettysburg, Catholic, and Marymount over the last two weekends. What has enabled WNL to perform so well thus far in 2011? Well, I think there are a couple of reasons um, that we're doing so well so far. One, I think it's just we like to race, get up and race and compete. Um, and we haven't really had a chance to do that since early December with our travels up to TCNJ. Um, also, another reason I think is we had a great train trip this year. Um, I know since I've been here, it's the warmest that it's been. And I think that helped us to just get in a lot of good training and be able to focus on what we need to work on um, heading into conference in February. What does it mean to you to be a student athlete at Washington and Lee? Well, I think there's, it means a lot to be a student athlete at WNL. Not, not only does WNL challenge us to be the best students that we can be, it also challenges us to be the best person that we can be. And I think athletics play an integral part in this role. Um, as you know, we're not alone, we have a team there to help us with the challenges that we face every day. How exciting is it for you and the Generals to have a chance to face a top five program in Johns Hopkins this weekend? It's very exciting. You know, as we challenge and get ready for conference, we have a chance to race, uh, play the top um, team in our conference. What are your expectations for the Bluegrass Mountain Conference <clears throat> Championships coming up in February? Uh, I have a lot of expectations. Like I think we ha can give Johns Hopkins a run for the money um, in February, as I think they're the top team on paper right now to win the conference. Um, you know, Wingate, you know, we're seeing very well with Wingate right now. Um, we're almost even with them. Um, in terms, of, even broader, I think it's just a stepping stone to NCAAs. I think we can put up a very strong showing at NCAAs this year. Um, I think we can get all five of our relays, as well as numerous individuals um, with eight cuts to NCAAs this year. Brandon, thanks for being here. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. The indoor track and field teams will compete at the Liberty Open in Lynchburg on Saturday. Meanwhile, three WNL squads head up to Baltimore to meet Johns Hopkins. The men's and women's swimming teams face off with the Blue Jays at 11, while the wrestling team squares off against its Centennial Conference rival at 1. Back in Lexington, there's a basketball doubleheader at the Warner Center on Saturday afternoon. The men's team takes on 7th-ranked Virginia Wesleyan at 2, followed by a meeting with Emory and Henry in women's hoops at 4. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.